Hello, this is Lucien Nassar. Today is February 7th, 2009. I'm back from Los Angeles, back to Salem, Massachusetts in the freezing cold. Actually, it's not too cold today. It's around 43 at the moment, which feels really, really warm uh, compared to two. Uh, some of the exciting things down the production right now, I'm working on the web episodes for a TV series by Jim Towns called Go to Hell, which is a series of uh, martial art type of uh, episodes. So there's a lot of Japanese drums, lots of um, fighting and stuff like that, techno type of music. I'm also trying to talk him into doing a musical, inspired of course by Repo the Genetic Opera, which I've talked about incessantly. And uh, this one will be more of a retro futuristic type of look, kind of like Metropolis. So I don't know if, um, if we'll do it or not, but we're talking about doing maybe a 10 minute type of uh, feature for it and try to pitch it to producers. Um, I'm really inspired by the comic book series Mr. X, uh, which actually is uh, coming out with a new series, uh, which is actually on the second episode. And it's a very like steampunk Metropolis look, if you want to see what some of the uh, pages look like. And um, the series is essentially about a guy named Mr. X. Um, that would be him right there. And Mr. X basically is an architect that designed this city that has robots that does everything for its inhabitants. Unfortunately, when he was doing it, he was taking a lot of experimental drugs and he subconsciously created a city with its architect that made its inhabitants go mad. And of course the inhabitants don't know any better, so crime rate is fantastically huge and he has to create like the formula or the negative architect to uh, create it. It's pretty original. It came out in the 1980s and I wouldn't uh, have any doubt that probably someday someone's going to pick it up and make a movie out of it because it's a pretty neat concept. I saw the movie Coraline last night, uh, written by Neil Gaiman, and it was actually amazing. Here's actually one of the puppets from the film. And uh, if you get the chance to see it, you should see it if you like fantastical type of things. The soundtrack is by this one French composer that I can't remember his name, but it was refreshingly unique and uh, quite inspiring. It had also a slight uh, Chinese type of undercurrent about it, a lot of uh, interesting type of melodies that, and substructures that he created. So I recommend it. Um, I haven't seen it in 3D, so I don't know what it looks like in 3D. I saw it in a film theater that didn't have 3D. So that's all I have to say. I hope everyone's having a wonderful February weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.